What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today, 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 I want to see how much Carvana would offer me for the Maserati Ghibli. I just, I'm just interested. I mean, I wouldn't trust their check not to bounce, but I'd be interested just to see what they'd offer me for the car. Um, pretty similar to what we did with the Snow Bunny Silverado. You know, we got an offer from Carvana. We'll probably get an offer from Carmack. Maybe I'll even throw one at Vroom and see what they offer. But let's go ahead and see what Carvana offers us for the Mozzie. Roll the intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're in here and we're going to see what Carvana offers us um, for the um, Maserati Ghibli. Let's just say 21000 Auto 8 speed with manual mode, V8 twin turbo, I just want to sell it, uh, neither, next, it does have adaptive cruise, uh, I found out it does have the soft closed doors, premium wheels, Bowers and Wilkins, lane keep, driver assistance, No ventilated seats, does have full leather, does have the spoiler, no accidents that are reported, is drivable, no mechanical or other issues, uh, no damage, no interior damage, no modifications. Not smoked in that I can tell. It does come with two keys. I think it's pretty great. And then we just put in and they're creating an offer. Let's see what Carvana offers for the Maserati. Oh, they're creating an offer. Hey, wait a minute. That's actually not... A bad offer considering what I have into this damn car. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. <coughs> Alrighty. Well, being I'm into this car for less than $25,000, actually, it's like 24 and some change after all my fees and tri title transfer and all that good stuff. That's where we're at. So, $14,000 profit to just give it to Carvana. CarMax has got to offer me more for this car. What's crazy is I'm seeing these cars sell for $25,000, $30,000. Matter of fact, let's look at that right now. All right, and just doing a very quick Google search. Look, Vroom has one here. With 46,000 miles, granted, double the miles of my car, but it's 27,000, basically 28, 28 grand, right? We, they got another one that's an S, um, which is a, a higher spec model with 56,000 miles for t basically 29,000. Um, and these are older models, 15s and 16s. Mine is a 19. Uh, here's a 17 for 35.5, basically, a 14 which looks exactly like mine as far as color, trim, and options, at 76,000 miles for 25. Um, just, wow, man. But you can see what these are selling for at retail as a slightly older models. Like, here's the, probably the closest, right? Here's a Ghibli 3.0, uh, 34, five, uh, basically 35 at CarGurus, with 58,000 miles. 
I mean, a Modena, huh? Look at this, 2022 for 106,990. I don't know who's paying that for a Maserati, but cool. There's a Quattro Porte, another Quattro Porte, Ghibli Base. I don't know. It might be a, an actually decent number. All right, guys. So there you see it. I mean, that's a quick. If I just really wanted to just dump the car, um, really fast. I mean, fourteen thousand dollars to to sell the Maserati for what I have into it right now, not fixing anything. I think I'm going to keep it for a little bit and drive it though, because it is under warranty. Um, but knowing that I have that much to like. I have that much equity to work with in that car. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Someone's going to input like sound effects in there or do something. I'll be on TikTok because I just did this. Anyways, um, I find it interesting. I really, really do. I find it very interesting that <coughs> there's that much equity in that car. I mean... Granted, this car might have more features because it's a newer model, like as far as the entertainment system, but to have basically a $20,000 difference, almost, from a 2016 to a 2019, yes, there's more miles, but like that's crazy. So for me though, it means I could probably drive this car for like four to six months not even just, I mean, daily it, like just have fun with it, just drive it. And then I can sell it and probably still make 10 racks on this car. I mean, granted that's if the entire car market doesn't bottom out and the whole shit doesn't, um, blow up. So we'll have to see what happens, but, um, I thought it was interesting, interesting offer, interesting to see what CarMax, I mean, what Carvana, I'm sorry, what Carvana offered. You know what the next thing is. We're going to have to take it to CarMax and see what CarMax offers for the car and see if we can get a, um, a good number on it and see what they offer. And um, I have a feeling it's going to be better than Carvana's. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. It's a weird day here, raining like a son of a bitch here in beautiful Las Vegas. I got stuff to do. Um, I have other videos to edit on other cars that we've won. One of them I'm driving right now. So uh, stay tuned. I have some more videos coming for you guys. And, um, you know, have some recent travel that's coming up. And then I will be back and we will really get into it. But anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. And please smash that subscribe button. It is free. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.